Welcome everyone to Catherine's Plates, where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Oh yeah, today I've got my crock pot out. I'm going to show you how to make crock pot creamy lemon chicken. Doesn't that sound good? I'm going to take some chicken breast here. I'm going to give it a nice sear with some seasonings to lock in some juices, give a nice color to it and flavor, and then we're going to simmer it with a delicious lemon creamy sauce. This is all you need right here. We've got some seasonings here. I'm using some real lemons. I'm gonna get everything out of these that I can for our sauce. We've got some chicken flavoring going on here, some butter. You gotta have that butter and some whipping cream here to give it that nice delicious sauce and some garlic for another flavor level. Okay, you ready? You want to see me put all of this together? Let's go. Okay, now I'm going to take a large skillet and just turn it on medium-high heat. Add one tablespoon of butter. While that's heating up and getting to a nice sizzle, I'm going to go ahead and take my four chicken breasts that I have here. I'm going to season with some Italian seasoning on the front side here. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Now the pepper is about, I'm using about a quarter of a teaspoon and the salt about half a teaspoon. And the Italian seasoning, I'm using one and a half teaspoons. Now this is for the front and the back side together. All right, you want to listen to your butter. It'll tell you. If you hear that nice sizzle, you'll be able to put your chicken breast in. Oh, I hear it. What we're going to do is place the chicken breast in upside down. So we want that seasoning side down first, and then we're going to go and season the top side of it. Oh, hear that? Okay, we're going to let those sit. You don't want to move them around too much because we want to get a nice sear. We want to lock in those juices and the flavors. All right, take my Italian seasoning and sprinkle this side. Now we're going to let these sit for about three minutes. We're not cooking these all the way through. We're just giving them a nice color and putting those seasonings into that chicken breast. Give a nice flavor to them. Got my salt and my pepper. Look at that color right there. Very nice. All right, we're gonna cook these for just a few more minutes on the back side. I'm going to pull these out, I'm going to place them into my crock pot, and then we're going to come back over here and make a little sauce. We're going to lightly spray the inside of our crock pot with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead now and place my chicken breast that I've seared off. Okay, I've pulled the chicken breast out of the pan here. What we're going to do is deglaze the pan and make our sauce. We're going to start off with one tablespoon of butter. Melt that. And then you can start scraping the pan to pick up all of those little bits and pieces. This is flavor. Don't pull that out. Okay, once your butter has melted and you've got all those little bits scraped up, we're going to add a quarter cup of chicken broth. And we're going to add like one bouillon or one teaspoon of some better than bouillon chicken flavor. Get that going. And you just want to keep this on a medium, medium low so we don't burn anything as we're putting things in. I'm going to add the rest of the seasonings that didn't go on my chicken. If you have any left, just go ahead and add that in. And my Italian seasoning. Go ahead and stir that in. I've just got some garlic cloves here, three of them. I'm just going to take the skin off. 
And then I'm going to press these so I have minced garlic. Okay, then I added another quarter cup of chicken broth to this. We're going to let the garlic cook down for about one minute. And then while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and take my lemons. I'm going to take two lemons. I'm going to zest the lemons and then I'm going to squeeze the juice out. Mmm, that smells good. There's our lemon flavor coming through. You want to make sure that you zest your lemons first before you cut them to get the juice out. It would be really hard to zest them after that. <laughs> Alright, we got enough in there. Let's go ahead and I'm going to cut these and then squeeze the juice out. So I learned this trick from my mom a long time ago. Is you take your half of a lemon and you put it upside down into your lemon squeezer. And then it releases a lot of juice. There we go. All right, we're going to give this a stir. We'll just cook it down for one minute. Mmm, mmm, that's good. There's still things that are going to go in here at the end, so you want to keep that in mind also. All right, we're going to turn this off. We're going to pour this over our chicken that's in the crock pot. Okay, we're not done yet. One more step, for right now anyway. We're going to put one piece of butter on each chicken breast. We're going to place our lid on the crock pot. We're going to cook this on low for about three to four hours or on high for two to three hours until the chicken breast is nice and tender. Then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to make it creamy. Okay, so the chicken has been cooking for three hours because these were pretty big chicken breast. What I'm going to do is I've got one cup of heavy whipping cream, or you can use half and half, or if you don't have that, you can use regular milk. I'm going to whisk one tablespoon of cornstarch in here. Okay, what I'm going to do is stack my chicken breast on top of each other. Pour in my cornstarch heavy whipping cream mixture. I'll put in about one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. A quarter cup of Parmesan cheese shredded. And I've got some slices of lemon that I'm going to put in. Mix this all together. Add my chicken in. Some of that lemon on there. Okay, now I've placed my crock pot on high if you don't have it on that setting yet. And then we're going to cook it for one hour. Okay, our creamy lemon chicken is done. Look at that. It is so tender. It is falling apart. <laughs> Let's go ahead and plate this up. I'm going to show you what I put with this for our dinner. There we go. Here's my plate. Ready for my bite. Mmm. It is so tender. It's almost like butter, cutting through butter. It is so delicious. And that chicken rice, all I did was cook my basmati rice in half water, half chicken broth, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. And that's what it turned out to be. Some fresh vegetables that I steamed. This is amazing. It makes our house smell delicious. Very lemony. But very creamy and buttery also. So it's not like in your face lemon at all. Alright, if you're enjoying this one here, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Also, share this one with family and friends. I bet they're going to enjoy this one also. All right, I will see you on my next episode. Mm.